Zergatry is the fifth strongest special attacker in the franchise, having a special attack set of 173 base, sitting slightly below Mega Alakazam and Primal Kyogre, and being slightly stronger than a Pokemon like Kieran Wright. Not to mention that Zergatry has stepped on the bolt, near perfect coverage in Gen 7 with Hidden Power Ice, and an amazing boosting move with the move Tail Glow to boost its special attack to absurd levels. Surely a Pokemon with these traits is broken in competitive singles, right? Well, actually, it's the opposite. Even though Zergatry is an insanely strong Pokemon, it's not a great Pokemon in both Gen 7 and Gen 8 competitive singles, ending up in the UEBL and the RUT respectively, and it's not even mentioned in the viability rankings for both generations. So why is this super strong Pokemon so terrible in competitive singles? Aside from its very high special attack stat, Zergatry stats are very lackluster, most notably its speed stat. Base 80 speed is very slow for an offensive Pokemon, severely limiting Zergatry's potential to deal any damage and making it easy for teams to pivot around. It gets outsped by a lot of faster offensive threats and Zergatry's bulk is very mediocre, so it cannot really take any neutral hits that well. This is especially the case against hyper-offensive teams where every Pokemon is fast and strong. You can have all the damage in the world, but if you're not fast or bulky, it's very difficult to actually deal any damage. Zergatry also faces heavy competition from other offensive electric types like Tapu Koko, Thundusterion, Zapdos and Zero Aura. These Pokemon are not as strong as Zergatry, but are significantly faster and offer defensive utility as well. There are ways to make up for Zergatry's terrible speed stat and make it work, but these strategies often rely on Z-Hypnosis and Sticky Web support. With Scarf Lander's T being very common in Gen 7, it can outspeed Zergatry even at a plus 1 speed, since it ignores Sticky Web, so Zergatry is rarely sweeping. Not to mention that it's very reliant on Hypnosis actually hitting. In Gen 8, this is even worse, since every Pokemon is using Heavy Duty Boots, making Sticky Web very unreliable, and Z-moves are not even a thing. If it wants to replicate the original set, it has to use the blunder policy and actually rely on Hypnosis missing, not to mention Tail Glow was also taken from it, so it has to use Calm Mind as an alternative setup move. Even with the amazing move pool circuitry has for Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam and Tail Glow, it still struggles to find wall breaking opportunities. Its low speed and bulk make it very prediction reliant. Clicking Thunderbolt or Tail Glow against a Lander's T or Garchomp coming in instantly forces it out. Zergatry also struggles against common Pokemon like Assault Vest Tangrowth and Ferrothorn, even with the Tail Glow boost. In Gen 8, Zergatry is even worse as it lost its best coverage moves, Hidden Power Ice, and Z moves as well. This severely hurts its wall breaking potential and leaves it easily checked by specially defensive Lander's T, Heatran, Rillaboom, Slugging Galar, and Tyranitar. Not to mention that even if Zergatry manages to score a KO, it gets easily revenge skill after due to its low speed and bulk. You could run a choice scarf on Zergatry to patch up its speed and make it a late game sweeper with beast boost boosting its special attack, but Zergatry is still easy to play around as it is locked into a move and it's not that hard to scout since it's not really hitting that hard. Overall with Zergatry's amazing damage potential and superb move pool, it still heavily struggles to find enough fall breaking opportunities due to its very bad stats, with special attack being the exception of course, and it faces heavy competition as well from other electric types. As a result, Zergatry is considered a terrible Pokemon in competitive singles, even with the power it has, though it is a pretty good Pokemon in the RU tier in Gen 8. Check out my video on the third strongest Pokemon if you haven't already, let me know your thoughts about Zergatry. Thank you for watching and see you next time.